I know, you know, at the beginning of your career and kind of at your start in boxing, a guy that really kind of inspired you was uh, Andrew Galata, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I watched him fight when I was coming up. When I came back here to the States, I came, to here, yeah. I came to the States. Um, I remember like people just get, getting around and like watching him fight. Like the atmosphere he brought, like, oh, it was so cool. Because uh, in Green Point, it was like a lot, most of the people I knew were blue collar workers doing construction or, you know, hard labor jobs. And then you had uh, Andrew Galata who made a living boxing. I was like, oh, that, that, that's cool. You know, you could make money in different ways than, uh, than just uh, hard work. I mean, you still got to work hard, but you can do something less challenging or stuff that you don't like, like construction. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, it was amazing to watch him and uh, also watch like the support he got from the uh, Polish community. Yeah, and with Polish, with Polish boxing, um, you know, Arthur Spilka and, and is another guy. Um, of course, you know, Galata, as we just talked about, and, and you're kind of carrying the torch now. Um, but what's, what's the uh, scene like in Poland uh, right now for, for boxing fans? Like how much attention is there on boxing? And, and I'm sure, you know, the people back in Poland, I'm sure they love you, but um, is, it, is it big there amateur-wise or what's the scene like? The amateur is, is not that great right now. Uh, the, the professional rankings are not also not doing that that great. You have a couple fighters uh, that are like on a world level, but a lot of it's it's kind of like uh, not in the best spot right now. You know, hopefully it'll pick up. Uh, but the Polish fighters are very good, but uh, something's missing. I don't know if it's uh, the trainers or the promoters or the like the but or the amateur system, but uh, something's missing. 